Greetings my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm going to be reviewing the absolutely wonderful frosty yet savage new album from Norwegian black metal gods immortal and this is entitled War Against All. I do love that cover as well. That is an eye-catching one in this lovely uh, digi digipack form here. Uh, I think this is like the sort of first edition, if you like. Rather nice little package. So Immortal, yes, legendary name, a legendary band. However, this is not the band that they were six years ago, I think. This is a totally different lineup, essentially. What we've got here is we have essentially a one-man project. Uh, now we have Demonaz as the kind of sole original member. Um, he handles all the, the vocals, the lyrics, the guitars. There is also a, um, a session drummer present on this album as well. However, it's, it's essentially a one-man project. Uh, just trying to find out who that drummer is indeed. Um, so all music by Demonaz and drums by Kevin Kvail. Uh, bass and additional guitars by Arv Isdal. Not quite sure of the pronunciation of those names. So there's a couple of uh, sort of session musicians there, if you like. But what I have to say about this album is that it's absolutely fantastic. Although it's a very different band to what we had um, on Sons of the Northern Darkness, that album to this album there's still a definite continuation. It's, there's, there's definite um, similarities in sound and style. Of course, we have had an album since then, the last album to actually feature that, um, that original lineup or that more recent lineup, I should say, with, of course, a bath on vocals and guitars. But he's had a very successful career doing his solo thing, more power to him. But I would really argue, and I do argue, that this current incarnation of Immortal Although it is essentially, as I say, a one-man band with just Demon As, um, who was an original member, he um, or he certainly he was there at the early scene and throughout the band's life, he has been involved in writing and contributing in some other ways. However, that album from I believe it was 2018, Northern Chaos Gods, their sort of, I guess, um, comeback album with the new lineup. That was an absolute stormer of an album, and this album, War Against All, is, in my opinion, a perfect continuation of that sound and style. This is very, very good music. This is black metal, of course. The production is very crisp. It's very clean production. Uh, the album's actually produced by uh, Arv Isdal, if that's how you pronounce his name. So, the guy that's doing the bass and additional guitars in, in the, on this album, I should say. But it, it sounds great. We kick off the album with War Against All, the title track, which leads pretty neatly into Thunders of Darkness. And those two tracks, it's kind of a double blow of abrasive black metal, but very much immortal. It sounds very, very immortal, which is exactly what you want from an immortal album. It sounds like the Immortal of Northern Chaos Gods. It doesn't sound like the Immortal of, say, I don't know, an album like Pure Holocaust, where that is really, really blistering uh, ice burns of black metal. But this album absolutely slays, in my opinion. Uh, as I mentioned, that, that kind of one-two opening there, uh, War Against All and Thunders of Darkness, tons of killer riffs. We've got pace there. The drums are, are machine gun-like at times. And Demon as, as a vocalist, he is he is just as good as Abath. Absolutely, in my opinion. He's got a great black metal voice. It's almost like a, a rattling shriek. It's brilliant. It's caustic stuff. It's proper sandpaper vocals. Then we're into War God, the third track there. Now that one is a real, real nice track. It's almost like a... It's got a traditional sort of heavy metal stomp and groove to it. Really good melodic pace, uh, but it's it's absolutely headbang material. Real fist-raising, fist-pounding stuff. Proper metal. It's almost like 
black and roll or, or black metal um, in a more traditional heavy metal kind of style. Then we've got No Sun, the fourth track there, which is an absolutely solid track. That is again, that's that's a faster pace. It's more of a it's more of an aggressive immortal black metal track. Then we get Return to Cold, which along with the closing track uh, Blasherick or Blasherack my throne i'm never sure how you actually pronounce that uh, but those two tracks in particular they are absolutely stunning they really do take you straight back to um, in my opinion anyway straight back to uh, at the heart of winter with those amazing kind of atmospheric soundscape building riffs and guitar work where it's really it's just got a beautiful tone to it um, and that's that's the one thing you really do notice about this album is the guitar work is absolutely fantastic throughout. You just take a track like War God um, in the middle of the track there. There's this lovely, beautiful guitar piece, really lovely guitar leads. Um, great, great riffing as well. But Return to Cold is probably my album highlight. It is so frosty. It's chilling. It's moving stuff. It's really oh, it's just brilliant cold black metal really really good stuff and it sounds like the immortal of old it really does real standout for me then we've got a really epic instrumental piece it's about seven minutes long which is uh, entitled nordlandia which is a lovely track it showcases some seriously brilliant musicianship again it kind of has that um traditional heavy metal vibe to it um in in the way that band like Iron Maiden with Big Aura, uh, Lost for Words, that is such a, an instrumental journey. And the way that instrumentals can sometimes be as effective or more impactful than a song with lyrics. It really does stand out, even though it's just an instrumental piece. It's a real epic instrumental piece. Really love that one. Then we have a title track, Immortal, which is, again, it's a good, solid black metal assault. A little bit more of an abrasive black metal attack uh, before that that closing track as i mentioned blasherick my throne absolutely love that track that's a real highlight it's a real beautiful beautiful soundscape creating track lovely atmospherics demon as his vocals are absolutely throat shredding the guy's actually a really good vocalist in my opinion and his guitar work is first rate absolutely cannot fault it and the drumming is solid as you like it's Plenty of atmospherics here. Um, what is really nice about it is it's not a particularly long album, actually. It's it's somewhere in the region of about 35, 37 minutes long, something like that. So it's not like you're committing an hour, an hour and a quarter of your time to one constant black metal attack. It's more like a concentrated punch in the face um, or an ice cold fist in the face, I should say, because it is frosty, frostbite delivering black metal. If you did like Northern Chaos Gods, which I know um, some people took a real aversion to, and I absolutely do not understand why, because I think that that is a stunning album. Um, I, I can understand if you've been a, a, a long-standing fan of Immortal, the Abath era, if you like, and then suddenly you haven't got Abath and you've just got this one guy who wasn't even really you know, involved in the band beyond a contributing writing and um, ideas kind of capacity to suddenly being the main guy who's doing everything pretty much bar the drumming. Um, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow because you, you maybe one of your favourite bands has suddenly had a complete uh, lineup change. But I would say this sounds like Immortal. Those two albums to me sound like Immortal. They're two albums that I revisit regularly. I love uh, Pure Holocaust, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism, um, everything else in between. Battles in the North, At the Heart of Winter. Love all those albums, absolutely. But I really, really love this one. War Against All will not disappoint. If you like any of the Immortal albums, then you're definitely going to be able to feel that continuation and enjoy that continuation in the, the classic Immortal sound. But also if you like... I don't know, if you like Dark Throne, if you like um, Dumu Borgir, if you just like, I guess, well-produced um, black metal in the sort of Dumu Borgir vein, 
or the kind of abrasive black metal in the Dark Throne vein, then you're definitely going to appreciate War Against All. Check it out. Don't be put off by the fact that it's just, just Demon Az and a few guests, if you like. This album absolutely kicks backside. Check out War God with its beautiful stomping grooves and amazing guitar work. Check out Return to Cold because it is... That track could easily have come from um, At the Heart of Winter. Easily. That's exactly how it sounds to me. Um, and do check out, I'd say Immortal, the title track, because that is an abrasive, ripping black metal storm. Check it out. Immortal, war against all. In my opinion, that's easily a 9 out of 10. I'm going to go right out there and I'm going to say that's a 9 out of 10 album. Shoot me down if you like, but that is a freaking good album, in my opinion. War Against All by the legendary immortal Norwegian black metal gods. What are your thoughts and opinions on this album? What are your thoughts and opinions on this band? Does it work? Does it not? I'm interested to hear thoughts and opinions of others, as always. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Please do feel free to like and subscribe, as always. It's very, very much appreciated. We're generating a real following here, which is really, really cool, so thank you all. Of course, check back soon for more reviews and recommendations of all the good, heavy things. But above all, my friends, do take care and stay heavy.